Hey, it's JC here. JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 436 17419 531 6097. Instagram at JC's Comics and More. And then www.jccomicsandmore.com. And JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com as well. Uh, we saw some Amazing Spider-Mans. No, this is not on the Amazing Spider-Mans. This is going to be on the Avengers. Uh, we left off, uh, did one of my Avengers uh, videos, but we left off because we ran out of time. So we're going to try to burn through this one rather quickly. This is number 42. This has Hercules in it. And see, we've got a minor smudge there. Um, I pointed out in one of my Daredevil videos that... Uh, that these comics, published by Vista Publications, um, with lots of other different publishers publishing Marvel rather than Marvel. You got magazine management. There's like Chemical Film or Major Film and Chemical Corporation. It's all stuff that um, I haven't had a chance to look it up online yet, but interesting that they had different companies uh, changing their name. I think that might have been done as for tax purposes back in the day but this is Roy Thomas and of course John Basema Hercules Hercules is eating a bunch of grapes and it's kind of ticking uh, 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 Hawkeye off called him a freeloader Scarlet Witch isn't too happy either but uh, let's see what this one is and Scarlet Witch whether or not her hair is miscolored it's colored black rather than the traditional brown that it was uh, Hawkeye apologizes to Hercules. He should consider the matter forgotten. He can do no more for man or immortal. And Quicksilver, he's always brooding. Uh, I'm no longer needed here. Special cameo by the Fantastic Four, Mr. Fantastic, and by Ben Grimm. And you look at uh, John Basema's, might be one of the first times he's drawn them. Not quite the John Basema we were used to drawn the Fantastic Four later in the 70s. We've got the Dragon Man who's in there. you got Goliath that's in there. A whole uh, army of Dragon Men. We've got a house there for Not Brian Eck number one. I think it was always funny. It's funny stuff. If you get a chance, pick those up. Oh, High Pockets is getting upset. You can see a Bernie Sanders ad right there. They go to rescue Oh, High Pockets. Thinks that he uh, betrayed them. Now 30 days of dragon oil. A single tank of gas. That might have been true at one point. But I'm sure somebody showed up and uh, convinced them the error of their ways. You've got Hercules fighting the Dragon Man. And the Black Widow's in there also. Of course, Black Widow is not the redhead that we know of, but she is wearing fishnets. Hawkeye versus Goliath. Scarlet Witch that she's uh to make some move. Wanda, Wanda, Wanda. See, Cap shows up also. Not sure Cap was, but uh, he says there's a homing beacon. And all of our aerial cars. And Dragon Man shows up again, and uh, Hercules has no part of that. Kind of puts him down and putting a beating on Hercu on him. He throws him into a, uh, a pit of lava. And look, there's the Wasp also. Jan's there. Color him the Red Guardian. Got Stan Soapbox. Stan Soapboxes are great. They're always great. Ads for t shirts and stationery and buttons and sweatshirts. And then you've got the, uh, we've got the letters pages here. And you look in the letters pages here. We're not seeing anyone of great note, so no one, no one of interest there. And let's move on to the next one. The Daredevil uh, video I had 
had letters from Jay and Demadius. It had uh, Fred Hembeck. Fred Hembeck had a letter. Here's the first parents of the Red Guardian. Again, John Basella. They're working out. Quicksilver's learn to fly. Talks about how he's able to do that. Following vibrating his legs at top speed, he can fly for short distances. And there's Hercules and Cap working out. Hercules gets a lesson that Captain America might be a mere mortal, but he's not mere by any point stretch of the imagination. Here we've got uh, we had not Brett, not Brent X number one. Here we've got not Brent X number two. Spidey Man versus Matt Man and Robin. And Hercules, I mean uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye was uh, drawn much more buff back then than what he was now. He's kind of a weakling now compared to uh, his uh, former self. Oh look, there's Bernie again. Looks like here we got some, some communists. Because this is a good time to have communists in the story. We've got the Red Guardian. He's fighting these armored uh, men. Somehow the Avengers have shown up. And Hercules has to take on the many headed Hydra. John Basama, look at that. Look at that page right there. Imagine what this page goes for these days. If you had the original art for this thing, what, $10,000, $15,000? One would certainly think at least that much. Unfortunately, it's too bad there's got some tears there. But Hercules is putting that Hydra down with no no problem. Yeah, it looks like uh, the Red Guardian took out Hawkeye pretty easily. And you've got the Black Widow there as well. Another stand soapbox. Again, the sand soapboxes are great. Uh, we're going to have pictures on the shop's Facebook page, and I'm going to put some on the shop's Instagram as well. And again, we look at the letters pages, and no one of great interest there, or no one that went on to write comics or be in the industry. We're going to pause this quickly so I can help the person that came in, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here we got Avengers 44. Again, John Basema. And still have the whole Vista publications. Get the Red Guardian with Hawkeye and Black Widow. Hercules is still fighting the Hydra. We've got the house ad for King Size Avengers Special 1 and King Size Daredevil Special 1. Love those old house ads. Scarlet Witch, she still has black hair. Maybe she changed her hair color, because women do that. And again, old Bernie Sanders, man, he just keeps showing up in these things. He wants you to uh, buy some grit off him. Nice action-packed issue, like the Avengers should be, unlike a lot of the comics these days. Uh, the superhero comics these days are, aren't as as action-packed as they should be and we look at uh, look at the, look at the, some of these house ads here or these old classified ads check those things out Captain America must be destroyed Cap, from what I piece together, all my life to the Red Guardian. Strange, we were born only to clash, yet there was an invisible bond between us. We fought on different sides, but each to its own code. And for that code, the man named Alexia was meant, was willing to die. There's Black Widow again. Again, not the redhead. But talks about how she was the uh, wife of the Red Guardian. Again, these stand soapboxes. And look at the letters page. You got Steve Smith. You've got Rick Burns. You've got Tim Thompson. 
You've got Shirley Gorman. Again, women have always read comic books, despite the fact that the the more politically social justice warrior Marvel comics today want you to think that women don't read comics. They have to make comics specifically for women. Women have always read comics. People of all ages and all creed and color and religious have always read comic books. Always. Here we've got number 45, Blitzkrieg. In Central Park, you get the Super Adaptoid. I think he may have been last seen, perhaps maybe in the X-Men. You see you got a Thor and a Iron Man, the parents there. You got Don Heck doing the art. And again, uh, how do I look? It's difficult to fix my hair when I'm wearing my tiara. There's a thing going on between those two. The Super Adaptoid. Look, Thor's got his hammer on, or his helmet on, uh, cockeyed. He's been out uh, drinking some, some uh, big old bottles of mead or something. Ah, suspense number 84. This one can't fall to Super Adaptoid. And then we've got the Wasp showing up. That giant man. Quit waving me around in the air. It isn't dignified. There he goes. Changing to the super adaptoid. And he's putting down the big man, Goliath. Puts a smack down on him. <clears throat> Here we got the ad for the comic books, uh, the, the cartoons that back in the day. This was from 1967, so this is what we got to watch in 1967 on ABC. You had the Fantastic Four, you had the amazing Spider Man at 10 o'clock, you had Casper at 9, uh, you had George, or Journey to the Center of the Earth at 10.30. George the King Kong at 11. George of the Jungle at 10, 11.30. Then you had the Beatles at noon. Then you had Dick Clark at his bandstand at 12.30. Again, they're trying to put the kibosh on the living adaptoid. Of course, Stan Soapbox, as always. No, not as always. There's every once in a while, it was not in there. As uh, he took did take some time off. He has King Size Annual, number five for the FF and number four for the Amazing Spider-Man. Kathleen, David Carey, Janice Williams. See? Again, women read comic books. Ant-Man is, is back, and how? But he looks like he's Goliath the uh, Agony on the anthill. This was a subscription copy. Got the appearance of Whirlwind. He makes a return. Got John Bissama doing the artwork on the inside. Agony of the anthill. They had Acme Cream on the inside. And here's where Hercules shaved his beard off. So he saw, so look at all George Reeves and everything. Where one shows up, takes some, uh, take some cash. Ant-Man's getting attacked by, by killer ants. They don't want to listen to him. They've had enough of his uh, nonsense. And he's lucky he didn't get chopped in half by those uh, man bros. Manibles. Looks like uh, Jan is now leading the ants. She's uh, got them under control. There 
these back. Not only caught in the sheer strength of Goliath, but also the very special powers of Ant-Man. He's got his own little ant helmet on now. Next issue, head Magneto. Again, we've got a house ad for FF Annual 5, King Size Special, and Amazing Spider-Man Annual 4, which is a King Size Special. Or soapbox again. Take a quick look here before I go help the person that walked in. And no one of note, so let's pause this. Okay, we're back with issue number 47 with Magneto. We've got to dig that yellow cover. He's with his kids. We've got John Bissama. Of course, you got George Tuska doing some work there. This is, uh, unfortunately, is just separated from the uh, bottom staple. House ad for Amazing Spider-Man number 56. Spidey joins Doc Ock. Spidey has amnesia, and Doc Ock has convinced him that he's his partner. And you've got the Black Knight. You've got Iron Man in there. You've got a flashback. You've got Hercules. Again, the clean-shaven Hercules. Olympus is deserted. Let's go back and do stuff with Olympus. It's the mad scientist uh, that used to fight the big red cheese. Magneto and the Toad. Get your own missile firing tank. Gonna have some bondage for uh, for Wanda. Look at that splash page there again. If you had the original art for that splash page, ten, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollars you could sell that for. Stan Soapbox talking about Captain Marvel. First mention of Captain Marvel uh, or Marvel of him. Also talks about Amazing Fantasy 15 here. A letter from somebody wrote in. Here got the Mighty Marvel Marching Society. Again, we look at the letters page. You got Jim Smith, you got David Banks, you got Jim Smiley, you got Robert Gordon, but you have no one who wrote, went on to write comics. So let's move on to the next comic and also take a look real quick. Still, Vista Publications. Avengers number 50, The Tame of Titan. Again, the clean shaven uh, Hercules. John Basama. Looks like uh, John inked his own work here. And Hawkeye and Goliath are once again button heads. Here you've got a circulation statement in the Avengers, and you've got the house ads for Not Brand Act number seven and Strange Tales number 167. Here you've got Zeus and you've got the Immortals that, that Hercules has found his family, but Zeus is all ticked at Hercules. Ares wants to fight Zeus. This issue, I think, was reprinted many years later in uh, the Avengers. Or actually, I think it was George Tuska, maybe. Maybe it was not this issue that was reprinted. Hercules uh, gets the uh, staves off the challenge. And things go back to good times with uh, Zeus and uh, everyone in Olympus. Big old party. Thor, Iron Man, the Collector, another change in Goliath. There's Dan's soapbox. Again, we're going to take pictures of that stuff. We'll be on the Instagram. And we're looking here and do a quick look. Got Tony Isabella. Tony Isabella, who created uh, Black Lightning from Cleveland, Ohio. So you do have somebody in there that went on to become a comics professional. Avengers number 53. Or 55, Mayhem over Manhattan. You see the Black Panther is part of the team now. They may have just been calling him the Panther at that point uh, because of the the group, uh, the, the political group, uh, the Black Panthers. John Bissema, George Klein. You've got Claw. You've got Radioactive Man. You've got the Melter, and you've got Whirlwind. And they've got several of the Avengers uh, that they've captured, including the Wasp. She's got a great miniskirt on. 
And you've got somebody we're not sure who he is yet. Claw tries to, uh, oh, High Tops gets gets loose and putting a beating on uh, Claw. Crimson Cowl, you know, begs for his life, grovels. And God, God, just great John Basama artwork. You got Jarvis. Jarvis has been brainwashed. And look, look who that is. I believe this is the first appearance of Ultron 5. Jarvis is almost as hurt badly. We've got Aragorn, who was uh, killed off in the latest issue of. War of the Realms, which I vastly agree, disagree with. There he is, Ultron 5. And take a quick look here. And no one of great importance there that went on to become anybody. Avengers number 61. And John Basama, John Basama's style is, is really coming down to his own. And you got George Klein. Look at this. Some will say the world will end in fire. And now this is magazine management company. Some will say in ice. Look at that. Got the vision. Doctor Strange makes a uh, unholy appearance. Oh, it was Bernie showing up again. He's still asking for money. And, and we've got this here. They're getting ready to fight some of the ancient Asgardians. It's a great, great issue. Let's see. Shows the uh, Jan when she got married. Uh, let's see. Look at the names and nobody. Richard Peeney uh, wrote a letter in this here. We're gonna pause this real quick. Just real quick. We're taking a quick break here. Get this gentleman showed up with his with his vehicle and showing his his cool comic themed vehicle that he's got here. Well, his guy here right here because I didn't care for Crumble Hawkins too tall. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, I see that he fell down there. Well, I broke it. I didn't he like fell it. off. No, I didn't like the way he said. Ah. It's too tall. I know, like, I'm going to put this one right here. This one right here. I'm going to put this one right here. Very cool, dude. Thank you. Yeah, this car's got very loud. Hey, check this out. Put him right here. Sure like that. Nice. Yep. Well, I hope you can make it on Free Comic Book Day and come by. I'm sure people would like to. When's the, when's it's on uh, May the 4th. Oh, yeah, I'll be here. I'll come May see the 4th. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm going to show you. I'll tell you something. I, I, I'll tell you about power. Beyond power, I'm going to show you something about this car. Everything is done with everything. This is all done by Cam Ray. Actually, look. Actually, I had this color tan at one time. Actually, I had this, kind of this color tan at one time. Everything did. Nice. I made it. I wanted something. I'll use. But. I beat you in the quarter mile at Comero yesterday. He died, I jumped like a long horse to it. <laughs> he beat me in the long run, but he beat right. me in the short run. This is my baby right here. Well, cool. Hopefully, we'll see you on uh, May the 4th, then. What time is it at? Uh, we're starting at uh, 10, so Saturday, if you want. Saturday morning? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll call. All right, thanks, sir. All right, I promise you. I'll be here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, I'm going to change my hand. Just get down. Just get down. Just get down. No problem. Hey. Thank you. Okay, that was a little bit of a surprise. Hope you enjoyed that and hope that uh, you guys are whoever is here on May the 4th. We're going to have our video up later today for the uh, details on uh, Free Comic Book Day. This is Avengers number 62, first appearance of the Man Ape. Again, John Basama, Roy Thomas, George Klein. Again, just great, just great, great, <coughs> great stuff. <coughs> They've got to burn all of his arrows. 
to stay warm. And I think they're they're in Wakanda. T'Challa. He gets challenged. He's wearing the uh, forbidden guise of the white gorilla. But he is now called the man-ape. Panther is able to defeat him, not easily, but he is able to defeat the panther. The panther is able to defeat Man Ape. Again, we've got the Stan Soapbox. Talks about Barry Smith. Here we once again we look at and once more knowing of any great interest. We do have a circulation statement in here again. And do a house ad for Captain America 112. But if you do like these videos, certainly subscribe. If you do subscribe, be sure to smash the bell for notifications. Other than that, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.